Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. So it's official, the secret and final update of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 went live today. Just a hotfix in game actually implementing the final stages for this fort, of which we actually see the characters come out of in this end event teaser trailer. And with that setting us up in game to have everything we're going to see right now until the end event occurs, obviously, as it states at the end of the trailer too, on the 4th of December at 4 pm EST. With that directly then going into Chapter 3 after it occurs and downtime lifts after the 48 hours of which we're in the black hole, I figured considering we've covered so much the trailer and how it's going to lead off the cinematic from the black hole, we We'd go over the other trailer that's going to be releasing simultaneously alongside it and what's going to be included within it being the Battle Pass trailer for Chapter 3. With the start of a brand new chapter, the possibilities are endless for cosmetics or skins, but believe it or not, despite that, we already know what is upcoming in the next Battle Pass for some of the skins, cosmetics and so much more. So it's a no-brainer to get all of that information in like 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. Make sure you're doing yourself a favour and sticking around to watch the full video. Whilst you sat back relaxing with your favourite snacks, however, it would mean the world to me if you could take two seconds out of your day to enter code FM1 in the item shop right now in preparation of of the release of Chapter 3 Season 1's Battle Pass. It's literally one of the shortest codes to enter. I challenge everybody to enter it right now and see how fast you can do so, as it would not only put a giant smile on my face, but speaking of giant smiles, my pug Gus could deal with this, considering he's been kind of upset as of lately from discovering that 70% of all eyes on screen right now watching aren't subscribed. If everybody did click the big red button now, we'd be at 2.3 million for not only New Year, but by Christmas even, potentially, and even the cute queen subscribed. So yeah, what's your excuse? Click the big red button now. After all, it can only benefit you by keeping you up to date with everything in Fortnite, and of course, don't forget I get 5 subscribers every single day, which soon is going to be tons of the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass. So of course, if you want to receive a gift, make sure you're subscribing to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and potentially what you'd like to receive off of me. And who knows, with that said, you could be gifted in the next video, even in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see. But with that said, now we need to dive into a game and go over everything regarding Chapter 3, the Battle Pass, and how we know what skins are going to be upcoming, so make sure, of course, you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere! Not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Don't go anywhere! Okay, so one of the first and most important things to go over before we start revealing skins that are going to be included throughout Chapter 3's Battle Pass, potential ones that we don't know are confirmed and ones that are. The first thing that you guys need to note of is we're going to be seeing this Battle Pass trailer release for the first time, introducing us to all the brand new skins within it despite the secret or unlockable one that we get halfway through the season on December 7th, 2021. The reason for this being, for those of you that don't know, is because we're going to be seeing around two plus days, like literally just over 48 hours or so, of downtime after the end event occurs, of which now is taking place instead of on December 5th, as it previously stated on the Battle Pass timer, on December 4th, 2021. And speaking of Battle Pass skins, what's interesting about today's hotfix is what's been implemented, or should I say some of the Easter egg props, hidden within this fort in its final stage of which we're going to be seeing, again as previously mentioned at the start of the video, before the event actually takes place, or before the extended version of this teaser trailer is released, which we're going to be covering more details about in just a second. The props in mention are for random characters, but to only one specific season, being Chapter 2 Season 2, the top secret season, you know, this one right here that was obviously showcased the title for the trailer. As we not only have Brutus's punching bag, which was obviously shown in his agent room when Chapter 2 Season 2 was here, and we saw for the first time this amazing scene of a Battle Pass menu. Who misses these and who wants them to return for Chapter 3? Let me know down below in the comments, because I definitely do. But despite this Brutus punching bag, of course, off the top of my head, what I could find was Sky's books from her particular lair, and also this TNT in a kind of construction board of where she was working to actually make things which make sense to be here right now, considering, as you can see a lot of her missiles have been assembled or delivered and are going to be used for something during the event I'm guessing. I honestly find it a coincidence that this title of Chapter 2 Season 2 was top secret considering if they knew about, well, what was inevitably coming at the end of this chapter back then, this would be top secret intel to prepare for. And for those that don't know, considering we've been covering this particular point in a lot of Chapter 3 based videos, the time of which is right here near the fort itself of where we're going to be going out of or where we're displayed to come out of, the reason the time is here instead of above the Cube Queen considering the Cube Queen and Pyramid itself is ginormous and will be getting all the attention most likely. And of course, this is where the event is literally going to be going down anyways, with it being the focal point of not only the map, but the storyline now is the Cube Queen is what's going to destroy this reality or contribute toward it, leading us into a black hole that then expands into Chapter 3's universe. This particular location for the timer in itself, this kind of circular area, is no accident despite it not either being directly above the fort of which is being formed or updated in its final stage like I mentioned as of today, or despite the fact it's not above the Cube Town either, what does this mean? Well, this is largely
correctly referencing that Chapter 1's Dimension or Universe is going to be directly mixed alongside Chapter 2, and a brand new one for the Chapter 3 map as when we put the maps over each other, Athena and Apollo being codenames both for Chapter 2 and Chapter 1's maps, you can clearly see that this is where the zero point resided, exactly where this timer is in game right now on the Chapter 2 island, but obviously when the zero point was above the Chapter 1 map's crust. Considering our last end event obviously had a lot to do with the zero point and the destabilisation or containment of it, which actually put us into the initial black hole in the first place, with the placement of this timer directly referencing our prior end event, this could then mean that people from our past, or the seven should I say, could be returning to actually contain this reality or try and stop it from being destroyed by the Cube Queen herself, obviously from trying to make nothing remain of this reality, not only from what's going down gradually every day in game right now with the spread of this orange or kind of dead scenery area taking over the greenery, but as you guys know from this leaked list of information, of which everything has come true off of, despite the chapter 3 stuff, well, some of the points anyways, considering we know definitely now the Cube Queen's going to be largely involved in transitioning us to chapter 3 as it also states in green. It furthermore makes sense that the 7 return, considering, yeah, apparently we're going to get revealed to the location or the hideout of where the 7 operate in this brand new chapter 3 island, universe, or dimension when it expands from the black hole. As of right now, we only know 4 members of the 7, being the Visitor, the Scientist, the Paradigm, and the Foundation, of which is still yet to release, even though we've known about his existence in the Fortnite universe or in the Fortnite storyline since Chapter 2 Season 6. And despite the Foundation looking like it's going to release in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass, not as the secret or unlockable skin that we get halfway through the season, considering we already know his identity, and yes again have done for seasons, and with us knowing he's the leader of the Seven, from his description being leaked early from Data Miners and other people pulling him into the Fortnite Locker, combined with the fact that for this event or on the lead up to it, considering he hadn't been changed since Chapter 2 Season 6, they've adjusted his head, he's not only going to be making a physical appearance like he kind of did in the Zero Crisis finale in the end event too, but he could very well also be just one of the skins in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass is what I'm trying to get at. Think about it, it makes sense now more than ever with the Seven being furthermore involved in the Fortnite storyline or their location set to be revealed, of which we know is going to be most likely coming true this point on here as everything else has come true despite the Chapter 3 stuff again. And referring back to the Zero Crisis finale, another reference to this as it could be taking place, this alliance anyways that was formed during it between Agent John Jones and the Foundation himself. Let's just say the fate for Agent John Jones, despite all of his efforts, isn't looking good for betraying the imagined order initially in the Zero Crisis finale event and teaming up with the Foundation, as Donald Mustard tweeted out this video, not only revealing the fate of Agent Jones, but a brand new style or skin as a whole that could be introduced in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass. So, one of my most favourite characters in all of Fortnite, especially in Chapter 2, is Agent Jones. And uh, just so much fun that we get to have with that awesome character. I love the idea of this person who works for the Imagined Order and believes in what they're doing and has worked with them for a long, long time. And every time they have to go into the loop for some reason, that they, they leave a snapshot of themselves. And that's why we have all these different kind of versions of Jones that we've seen through the years. But I love that we've been able to build up to that, uh, that big moment in season five, especially where you know, he's bringing all these different hunters in from all these realities and then finally he's just sick of it. He realizes like that what he's been doing is wrong and goes to get the help of the Seven. Um, and there's a lot more in store for, for Agent Jones. Uh, so I did this quick, quick sketch of one of my favorite outfits of, of Jones. As you can see at the end of the trailer in slow motion played again, it looks like Agent Jones has been captured by the Imagined Order for his wrongdoings or disservice to the Imagined Order saying don't contact the Seven. And with Agent Jones being such a forefront of the storyline, I doubt he's just going to be an item shop skin, so for that reason he'll not only be integrated in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass, but he'll also be involved in the Battle Pass trailer for this in itself. And speaking of trailers, before we break down perhaps some of the craziest skins or ideas that could be coming to Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1's Battle Pass, we need to briefly touch on the fact that yes, this isn't the full trailer this end of teaser of what we're going to be seeing before the event actually occurs anyways, as according to the guy who made the official song in the background saying watch it all fall and stuff like that, kind of hyping up everything and honestly it's a super dope song, he revealed across his socials anyways that people have actually been asking him about like Fortnite data miners and leakers and stuff, that there's going to be an extended version to this considering obviously he's made a whole song for this event in itself by Epic Games Requested, and of course that this is obviously going to be releasing maybe perhaps even just before the event occurs in itself considering it's been delayed in terms of the release dates according to 
what data miners have found are basically been answered with when asking him questions over on Twitter. In terms of the Battle Pass trailer, obviously showcasing not only brand new characters but in this brand new Fortnite scenery, the first official look of which could have been right in front of our eyes this entire time, in the Imposters LTM on one of the Imagine Order's computers, are all of these locations as you can clearly see. Now despite many people believing this to be snapshots or locations from the Chapter 3 map in screenshot form on this PC for the Imagined Order, don't forget of course this needs to factor in everything we know about the flip side teased by Epic Games and Insiders to be well where we're going to be ending up for a brand new Fortnite reality at the start of Chapter 3 in itself. In terms of something definite that we know is going to be introduced or shown for the first time as a brand new feature let alone skins in the Battle Pass trailer for Chapter 3, I don't know where this image came from initially but as you can see it clearly shows a brand new kind of vertical of gameplay style or even mechanics that we can use being sliding of which has been developed in the files for quite some time now. And the reason I know this is going to be shown off in the Battle Pass trailer for Chapter 3 Season 1 is because if we compare that to the new features that were introduced or shown for the first time in Chapter 2 Season 1, such as the punch cards and the medals that we could earn and stuff like that, with this being a brand new feature and with it being introduced at the start of the brand new chapter instead of right now at the end of one, of course Epic Games are going to want to show off as many new things as possible as we enter this whole new world of Fortnite now for players to come back and actually rekindle their love of Fortnite on or continue it if they're still playing. And as we move on to some of the final skins that could or will be contained throughout this brand new Battle Pass releasing on December 7th when Chapter 3 expands into this new Fortnite universe, one of the main things people are wondering considering the Spider-Man No Way Home film releases very soon is when are we going to be finally seeing a Marvel integrated Spider-Man collaboration within Fortnite? And despite all the concepts going around of different versions or different Spider-Man suits of which he could be wearing being implemented as the one as the collaboration in Fortnite, let's just say that data miners are pretty confident if not confirming right now from inside sources that this is definitely going to be happening with the release of this film, whether it's for the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass Secret skin, kind of like we've had stuff like Superman and other collabs as this skin in the past for prior Battle Passes, or whether he just comes throughout the item shop kind of like for a limited time event, such as what we've just recently seen come and go being the Naruto. One of the main things people have been speculating about however is if this is going to be PlayStation exclusive considering Sony actually do own the rights to Spider-Man and if that were to be the case or there was going to be some sort of controversy surrounding that being a factor. This then does lead me to believe it's going to be more of an item shop skin as I'm guessing they'll have to grant it to all Fortnite players the skin itself as a base standard Spider-Man can't just be exclusive but let's just say PlayStation players could get an extra incentive or selectable style for Spider-Man that no others can get. Of course we're not only going to be seeing a complete revamp to our menus and for that reason the battle pass and ultimately how we operate it or what it looks like when we go to see what we've unlocked but also at the same time we're going to be introduced to brand new features that have been worked on even for a while now potentially one of them being weapon modifications of which you can see a concept trailer for and a concept of overall in the background allowing us to customize our weapons in a unique way however not affecting actual gameplay performance to make us overpowered included within the weapon modifications themselves if this does release it would only make sense to release the weapon charms of which have actually been worked on since chapter 1 season x as yes these are kind of a modification to our weapon and making it our own unique thing despite just the wraps that we can put on them in the first place the final thing i want to show you guys and leave you wondering about are these skins on these particular surveys two of which have been put together in this one image right here as you can see some of the skins on here may look familiar the one specifically gone over in kind of a dark block and that's because initially when these surveys were released none of these skins were introduced to the game but these are the ones that have came so far so we know epic games are directly taking inspiration or reference off of this and because of that being the case i want to know down below in the comments which of these would you guys like to see come to the game if not be introduced to the chapter 3 season 1 battle pass feel free to pause the video and get a good look at them but that's all i've got for you guys in today's video so if you enjoyed i want to keep referring back to it or get the video out there to more people all of this knowledge slap a like in the video down below make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and speaking of your next destination on youtube now in terms of videos make sure to interact with anything on screen i don't mind but most importantly don't forget hopefully i can catch you yes you the individual still watching i can see you but hopefully in that very next video i do post on the channel